grab your cup, a really big block that so many people have and don't really realize is what happens when we try to move forward in our life without completing what's happened in our past, in our long ago past or our more recent past. So for example, if you had a relationship, a marriage or a relationship and it ends and then you try to move forward and you didn't complete everything there is to complete about that relationship, it's there in front of you blocking your path from creating the next relationship. There's no freedom to create something new, right? So the completing what happened is critical for a couple of things. Number one, anything that you're holding about what you did or didn't do is there. It's in your space. It's in your field. It's in your subconscious. Anything that you wish you said and you didn't, anything that you wish you didn't do that you did, anything like that, you need to complete that. You need to complete the energetic connection with that person. So when we have relationships, when we share ourselves physically, we're intimate with someone, there's a sharing of energy. There's a sharing of energy when we have children with someone. And then that relationship ends and we're struggling to go create something new in our life. If you don't complete that energetic connection, that's gonna be in the space. So completing for yourself, returning your energy back to yourself, returning wholeness back to yourself is really the only way to be able to move forward. And it's not just about relationships. That's an easy example to give. We've all probably had a relationship that didn't work out, that ended, sometimes ended badly. I know I did. And it was very important to be able to complete. Now for me in my relationship, my ex-husband, the father of my children, is now a great friend, which is a huge gift. You may not be interested in being friends with somebody you had a past relationship with, and that's totally fine. I find it a blessing, but it was not possible when there was incompleteness there, when there, when there was resentment there, when there was a, a negative exchange of energy. It just wouldn't have been possible. Besides relationships, let's look at anything else. Um, let's look at jobs. If you were in a job or a career and there's a change, either you're let go of your job or you leave your job, the way that that happens, the way that you leave, the way that you're let go, you have to feel complete about that. You have to be able to return yourself to yourself in ending that because at least in our western world jobs and careers are a big part of our identity who we are and what we put out into the world for a lot of people for some people it's just a job but still it's important how you leave even if it's just a job because you're going to bring the feelings of that into your next job so feeling complete returning yourself to wholeness changing the energy or releasing the energetic connection with the person or with that past thing, that past situation. There's always an energetic connection because anywhere that you are, you are bringing your energy to it. Anywhere that you are, any people that you're with, there's an exchange of energy. It has to happen. We live in an energetic field. Energy runs through us. We connect with people and their energetic field is there. It's physics. It can't not happen. So if you're not paying attention to that, you're not returning your energy back to yourself. You're allowing that energetic chain uh, connection to stay there. Even when someone passes, instead of like a partner relationship, think of people in your life who have passed a lot of times the blocks about moving on are the same things that I'm talking here, why we stay stuck in grief. We stay incomplete about that relationship and we keep the energetic tie, 
even though the person has passed on, our energy is still tied. And then we, we don't feel like we can move on. Sometimes we think we shouldn't move on if it was a person we were really close to, like we're betraying them if we do move on, which I don't believe is the case at all. But some people believe that if I move on, I'm betraying that relationship. I don't wanna stop thinking about them and grieving for them. And um, that's a way of keeping your energy in that connection. You can stay connected to them with a very different energy than grief. You can stay connected to them with an energy of love. So that block of completing the past, returning yourself to wholeness, really looking at what is there that you need to address that's incomplete and severing that energetic tie is going to release everything that you need to move forward into, into freedom to create something and the next thing for your life. Otherwise you feel like there's a tether around you because there kind of is, okay? If you don't know how to do that, reach out to me, drop me a comment. That's a lot of the work that we do. Completing the past is critical for creating a new future. Have a great day.